नमस्ते एवरीवन आई एम पोरस शर्माकर रिसर्च स्कॉलर फ्रॉम मुंबई आई एम वर्किंग ऑन द प्रोजेक्ट व्हिच इज भारत से संगीत विश्वानुबंध यात्रा दिस इज अ यूनिक प्रोजेक्ट व्हिच ट्रेसेस द इंटर रिलेशनशिप ऑफ इंडियन म्यूजिक विद ग्लोबल वर्कर्स सो वन ऑफ द एस्पेक्ट ऑफ दिस प्रोजेक्ट इज इंटरव्यूइंग डिफरेंट आर्टिस्ट ग्लोबली हु प्रैक्टिस इंडियन म्यूजिक हु आर आइदर इंडियन और नॉन इंडियन सो सिमिलरली we are going to interview different different artists who are in the same line today we are going to interview shrimati yuko matoba ji who is actually a vainika but an interesting fact she is from japan she is a japanese vainika isn't it amazing so let us know the journey of her career or her musical journey how she became a vainika or a japanese vainika Namaste you come ma'am Namaste Yes So uh, I I just talked about our project so can you please tell more about yourself how you uh, came into this uh, field or maybe being a japanese you started playing veena so can you tell more about your journey Okay and uh... My name is Yuko Matoba. I am Japanese, living in Tokyo. Yes. And uh, okay, I my specialty is musicology. Okay. And uh, in childhood, I uh, learned piano, Western music. So okay. educated by Western music. Okay. And uh, I like uh, performing very much. Okay. then i joined uh, eh to ne eh music university in tokyo okay. government university okay and uh, my my hand is very small so for pianist uh, i cannot uh, become professional pianist okay then i i like music very much okay. so i joined the department of musicology okay then i thought uh non western music okay the site of non western music is very, very attractive okay. and uh, i interested uh, in indian music okay then my university professor he learned in india Carnatic okay. music and Hindustan music also. Okay. So I also interest in Indian music very much, and he suggested me uh, if I learn uh, Indian music, uh, first you go to south, start from Carnatic music. Okay. Then after, if you want, you can go to Hindustan music also. Okay. He advised me. Hmm. Then I visit India, nineteen seventy-two. Okay. So this year, just fifty years from that time, I was a university student. Oh, okay. Then, Tony, uh, I came to Chennai. Oh. at that time madras okay and joined the music college okay and my my guru learned that college okay so i joined that college and i decided to learn veena okay veena is very original and very old uh, indian instrument okay and sound is very very nice yes so i decided this is uh, i want to learn okay mm. then at that time start that my uh, i chose the instrument to learn then first we first visit to so visit one year very short time okay then came back to japan hmm. and uh, after 3 years i visit again 
But after that, I I joined the uh, women's women's college in Tokyo. I was teaching in uh, Western music and theory. Mm. So I could not come for long, long time. So only summer vacation uh, in August, August, September. Okay. Maximum, maximum six weeks like that. Very shortly, shortly uh, no, in summertime, I'm coming. Then uh, privately, I learn being a continue. So how are the difficulties you faced being a Japanese and uh, how it was difficult for you to learn in India being a Japanese? Maybe there must be some difficulties you faced, right? Yes, yes, very much. Yes. So, so I would <laughs> love to know what yeah. were the difficulties you faced? Yes, yes. yes. So uh, in 1972, okay. I could not follow the class. Bina class is okay. group lesson. So I was very shocked. I I cannot follow. I cannot understand. Okay. And uh, another classmates can follow nicely, but only me cannot follow. Okay. And drop out the class. And uh, so spiritually very, uh, I, I was despaired. And uh, then at that time, I privately, I met uh, uh, Nageshwara Rao, Mokkapati Nageshwara Rao. Uh, his student, through his student, I met him. I went to his concert. And uh, Nageshwara Rao said, don't go back and learn something. Don't go back now without learning. Okay. So, so I start learning from him, hmm. and uh, so he's the most important person. If I didn't meet, meet uh, that that time is 1972. Okay. So if I did not meet him, I gave up and uh, went back to Japan and stop everything. Hmm. So, uh, because of him, because of I met him, I could continue. And uh, little by little I learn. And uh, coming 50 years from that time. Okay. So uh, can you tell more about your gurus? Who were your gurus and uh, how, how did, did they handhold you? Uh, because you were totally uh, uh, new to this. Because we, we being Indian, we know more, uh, we know very less about Indian classical music. And you being a Japanese, you have learned under your gurus after, uh, for so many years. So any anything you would lo love to share, any incidents or any... Uh, uh, things you remember about your gurus while they used to teach you? So, school teacher also very patient and uh, generosity yes. and teach foreigner. To teach foreigner is very difficult. Yes. And learning for, I am foreigner, so learning also very difficult. Yes. But, uh, mm, My, I you know, noticed uh, educated by Western music. So, okay. so the basic uh, hearing, yes, hearing setting is very different from Western music. Yes, yes, correct. So I did not notice noticed. Yes, I look Indian music with Western. Uh, how I say Western listening. Yes. Yes. Then cannot understand the structure of Subaras. Yes. So struggle so much. Yes. And with learning, I'm always uh, cannot understand why Kamaka is like this, why, 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 yes. all of it. And uh, more than 10 years, of course, on 10 years, 20 years, I was struggling. 
Yes. And uh, so what I noticed the uh, way of approaching, mm. I I found uh, no, mm, to, ne. Yes. after some years I I married and uh, I have two daughters okay. and uh, second daughter I took India with me. Oh, amazing. She is uh, eight years at that time. Okay. And uh, she's, she said she wants to learn uh, music, Indian music. Okay. <laughs> so, so she started learning just uh, okay. basic, basic exercise, gitam, okay. and uh, so she learned very quickly and uh, she has, <coughs> I think she, she has no question okay. and learned very beautifully. Oh, yes. I am, I have many questions and every yes. time I ask, ask why, why, why. <laughs> okay. so, <laughs> yes. so then I noticed Indian children Mm -hmm. Learn like this True. from childhood, and yeah. uh, they don't learn Western music. Yes. So knowledge of Western music. Yes. Uh, it's uh, disturbed to understand Indian music. Yes. So I noticed. So I remove all Western uh, knowledge, mm. and uh, everything I remove, like like mm. children. I start learning again. Okay. Then I cleared. Now I have year of Indian year. Okay. I can I can uh, follow Indian music. Okay. Now I can understand the theory of raga oh. structure. Yes. Just like Indian. So, yeah. but very very long way to notice okay. that. <laughs> yes. True. So how was your experience? Like, uh, is it, uh, is it, uh, you have learned Japanese music also along with Western and Indian music, or it is just Indian and Western music you have learned, or there, is there any difference what you found or similarities you found between Japanese music or, and Indian music? So, uh, Western music hmm. is very different from Japanese music. Okay. And India music very different, different system. Yes. But but uh, uh, India and uh, Japan. Yes. Uh, Asian Asian country. Yes. Yes. So yes. some uh, closer closer yes. to yes. Japanese music feeling of yes. Uh, yes. Japanese. You no, know, I have some feeling. Not yes. Western yes. music is uh, based on. Uh, cause, chords, right? Cause, but we have no cause. Yes. And yes. Uh, melody is very minute. Yes, true. And uh, so something, I uh, know. I can, I uh, know, un understand. Yes, yes. I uh, know yes. mm, India music. True. I think. Mm, yes. So, uh, yeah, that is very interesting to find that there are like India and Japan were connected, maybe because of Buddhism, uh, maybe because of some influences, musical influence from Buddhism came to Japan. And this might have influenced Japanese music to some extent. Right. It may it may have been possible. Mm -hmm. But yes. I, I think India music is very systematic. Okay. And <laughs> logical. Yes. And religious. Yes. And so grand world of grand yes. world. So I feel very happy. Yes. To uh, done India music. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for giving your time, ma'am. And it was wonderful knowing your musical journey. Uh, how being a Japanese, you become a Vainika or maybe a, ja a Japanese Vainika. Maybe we can, uh, people might be looking uh, upon you like Saraswati in India or maybe Benzaiten in Japan. 
so yes. we are very happy to know about your journey with this i thank you so much for all the uh, insights you have wonderful insights and valuable insights you have shared with us uh, through this interview this is definitely going to be a treasure for us i thank you so much again for giving your time and thank you thank you very much thank you so much namaste namaste, namaste.